Hello everyone, it's Dr. Connor here with Tree of Life Chiropractic. Uh, I am going to be talking to you today on our fifth video of our um, immune series videos about fever. And fever, interestingly enough, um, does many different things in the body. Um, it is part of your non-specific immune response. Uh, and it actually is more of a um, initiation of your immune response than it is uh, a reaction to it. Um, and the reason for that is because it's allowing you to elevate your uh, body, body temperature to trigger those cells uh, to create that immune response in the appropriate manner and shape uh, to fight off the virus infection or bacteria. Uh, all of this happens in your hypothalamus and what, it, what happens is you actually, the cells that are being attacked by the virus or the bacteria or infection uh, produce what's called uh, pyrogens and those travel through your bloodstream and go up to your hypothalamus and activate what's it's basically the uh, thermostat in your body to elevate the temperature um, when that happens it allows everything to be fought off uh, temperature wise because bacteria viruses are all temperature sensitive organisms um, so that's that's why a fever happens uh, some of the things that Fevers are good for, or they're good at fighting infections, um, slowing down those, that bacteria and those viruses. Uh, it helps to increase the white blood cells, um, and it's in the acute phase of the response. It also helps to recover faster. Um, something that we stated in one of the other videos that we did is that it also helps to repair tissues um, in an infected area a little bit faster. Um, due to the heat uh, and then it helps to protect your body and it, it doesn't cause much harm um, Until it starts to get a little bit over 104 degrees So why is it that we have a fever? So if you want to think about it a little bit, you can think about it two different ways um, One is if you were to go out camping and get water from a stream What would you end up doing to it? You want to make sure that you boil off all the germs so you would heat it up uh, and allow those germs to be killed off before you drink the water. Same thing happens when you cook your food. Uh, specifically, take chicken for instance. Um, you're gonna cook the chicken so that you don't end up having all of those that bacteria and the germs that are on the chicken uh, getting into your food and making it so that you're, you're sick that way. So that's the reason why we have fevers and it's, that's the reason why it's important that you're not suppressing it um, until it starts to get into more of that dangerous range over that 104 degrees. Um, anything above that, that's when you need to start worrying about a little bit more. But until that point, it's important to let it ride so that you can actually uh, kill that bacteria and kill those viruses. So hopefully you learned something in this video. Um, we are going to be doing one more video in the series, uh, and that's going to be more about being more proactive versus reactive, um, especially in the state that everything's at right now. Um, being proactive going on in the future is going to be pretty important so that we can make sure to keep everybody healthy. So we look forward to seeing you in that next video and um, hope you learned something.